Hi Floss Tube. This is Stephanie, the Ivy House Crafter. It is Thursday. Check my notes. What day is it? May 24th. Um, welcome to my subscribers. Thank you. And anybody new here, um, happy to see you. Hope you hang around. Um, it has been quite a week and I'm really, really tired. <laughs> Let's see, my daughters broke their bunk bed. Um, yeah, it was just kind of, they, the slats that are supposed to go across the bed, the bar holding them up snapped. And so my daughter didn't tell me and kind of jerry-rigged them to go the other way and like tied it up with string and stuff and I noticed that she had a sore on her arm like a scratch and I asked what happened and she she was just like uh, my bed broke really okay <laughs> so we had to get them a new bed and then you know Jeff and I assembled that and you know how when you go to the store hungry you end up buying a lot more than you intended to um, Somehow, with my husband going to buy the bunk bed, that translated into coming home with a 65-inch television. Which is really a huge upgrade from what we had before. Um, we had a thrift store TV that was not even a flat screen. It was like the, the big box kind. So, so yeah, we got that all set up and it's really fun to, to watch floss tube on that <laughs> every once in a while. But yeah, that was unexpected and just kind of like, whoa. Um, Mom. Hello. Go back Can downstairs, Can you say hi please. to floss tube? Audrey's going to say hi and then she's going to go back downstairs where she won't be I such a big you. distraction. All right, get over here. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> and also I need a drink. Okay, get a drink. Did I mention I'm tired? I think I'm kind of in a little bit of a mood. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm part of a Facebook group that's um, Utah, <clears throat> Utah Cross Stitch Get Togethers or something. I don't remember exactly what it's called. But I went to my first um, meetup or get together on Saturday. It was really, really small. It was just me and one other person. Um, and we're both, you know, really new to the group. But it was a lot of fun to, to just sit in a Starbucks and cross stitch with another, with another lady. And it was Mom? a lot of fun. Yes. Have you done the shout outs yet? I have not. Should I shout somebody out? Shout out. Just keep stitching. Okay, Audrey, now I've already shouted them out before, but um, Audrey really likes them too. Just keep stitching, Pam and Steph. They are so much fun to watch. So if you haven't gone and checked them out yet, do so. Let's Can see. Can you link them in the description? Yes, I will link them in the description. You gonna head downstairs now? Yes, I'm okay. to tell them. <laughs> so, um, so Saturday I got to meet up with um, I'm not going to give her full name because I don't have permission, but her name was Jennifer and she was doing some beautiful black work um, in, in different colors. There was like orange and green and red and, and just really, really pretty. And I brought one of my projects and I'll, <clears throat> I'll show that in my whips section. Um, Sunday was a free stuff Sunday. I've talked about it before where our congregation... Um, some of the service missionaries um, take in donations of, of stuff, usually clothes, or, or mostly clothes, but um, often a bunch of other stuff as well. And this Sunday was a really, really big one. Lots of clothes. There was furniture. There was... Um, it, I, I don't even remember everything. I kind of went through briefly, but um, we got a couch. Just a couch that um, somebody had donated, and so we were able to, to bring that home. And 
I don't know if you can see it, but it's like right here. Um, and I, um, I got a bunch of other stuff that I will talk about later. Um, very little of it was cross stitch, so um, yeah, I just I have a, a lot of um, haul acquisitions, things that I received or um, you know acquired this week, and and I'll save those for later. And I'll try to end with the non cross stitching stuff. So if that's not something you're interested in, you don't have to watch it. Um, sorry, my husband's preparing lunch over in the in the kitchen, so you'll probably hear some lunch preparing sounds. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to move on into whips. Like I mentioned before, I had brought one of my projects to the Saturday meetup. And um, I just wanted something small that was really easy to work on and really easy to carry. So I brought Country Cottage Needleworks Welcome Home. And this was one of my mania starts. And if you remember, I'm stitching it on very un even linen and so my squares are rectangles so my house is um, kind of short and squat but I filled in a lot of the red and this really was the perfect piece to to bring to a meetup because it was just really easy it's just fill in the red um, and so that was fun it was you know I was able to stitch and talk at the same time and not make any mistakes uh, I also work, brought that to church on Sunday and worked on it a little bit while I was in the nursery with um, with my toddler because sometimes he's fine with um, with being left there with the, the nursery leader and the other kids and sometimes he is not and we have to, either my husband or I, um, stay in the nursery with him and so I, I stayed in with him last week and did some cross stitching and so that was fun. Let's see. I put some work into Bird Sampler. This is the, the piece from Traditional Samplers by Brenda Keys. And it is this piece right here, Bird Sampler. put in some leaves. This one is stitching up so pretty. I'm really enjoying working on this piece. Um, I say that I only worked on it one day this week. <laughs> it was Thursday after I filmed my last video. But it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm having fun now that Mania is over and I'm not starting a new piece each week. I mean, each day, it's really fun knowing that if I want to, I can stitch on the same piece for more than one day. <laughs> and, um, and I did this week. It was fun. Um, I've been working really hard on getting progress on um, my designs so that I can have um, a stitched model to, to put on my Etsy listing so people can see what it looks like stitched up. So I did some work on Wild Lilies Flourish. And that's what this one looks like so far. I added more words, I added more border, and I started on these little motifs. I'm, I'm stitching this one over one on 18 count um, vintage country mocha. Except some of these, like really, where is it? Right here. Really light colors, like this yellow on the duck, they don't want to show up on the fabric. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And so for the, the light colors, I'm doing it two over one. So using two strands of floss and even then it's still like really hard to see but it's it helps it to stand out just a little bit more like here in the flowers and stuff so this one is fun 
I have a new setup so I don't know how everything is um, showing up on the camera and I'll I'll see when I go to upload it if you guys are actually seeing what I'm showing you but um, so that one's Wild Lily's Flourish and the other one that I worked on quite a bit this week was my springtime sampler this one is turning out so cute I'm also stitching this on 18 count um, but this one is with two strands of floss and I put in a lot of work on the border and I did the, the first two sections of alphabet and this really cute birdhouse. It's so tiny and bright and cheerful and adorable and this is just going to be so cute. And you can't see them yet, but there's going to be little tiny flowers on there and I'm just, I'm just so tickled seeing this come together. It's been a lot of fun working on that piece. Um, I think I mentioned it last week, probably, um, but I also, last Thursday I finished, I fully finished my Biscornu for the Great Biscornu Swap, and um, I'm still getting together everything that is going to Go with that package and so once I have sent it and it has been received I'll put in a little video that shows it in greater detail because I haven't showed it hardly at all I've done like little flashes but um so I expect to get that sent out this week and once it's been received by my swap partner I will be able to show it here and with that, we're going to transition into haul because I received my Biscornu from uh, the person who, who was assigned to me, and it was Jennifer Upton, um, who I have, of course, mentioned in my videos before. She's just awesome. And I'm going to show you this darling Biscornu that she made for me. And it is so perfect. Look, it's a bird on a nest. And the, the sides are beaded. And then on the other side, it's a nest with eggs. And I was just, oh, it took my breath away. I was so excited to get this. It's, just, it's so pretty. Yes, I'm going to love having this and and using it, just so sweet. It came with, I've got all my stuff piled up on the couch, some chocolate. And I've been really, really good. I'm um, portioning it out so that I only eat a little bit at a time so that I can savor it. And so I still have a little bit left and um, I'll probably have some after lunch. So, dark chocolate, sea salt, very yummy. Also, in the package from Jennifer Upton, there was a lavender mud mask. And now that I have... Sorry for the crinkling back there. <laughs> now that I have um, shown this, I will be able to use it. I may or may not take a picture no, I probably won't take a picture of me with the mask on, but um, I'm, I'm looking forward to this because it's lavender, it's relaxing, and I'm all about relaxing. Also, she sent me some dinky dye silks. Hold this up. This is the first fancy floss I've ever owned. The first silks. And I'm really excited to give these a try. It's, it's kind of hard to tell, but they are lightly variegated and just beautiful colors. These will be a lot of fun. I'm considering using these in my um, 
Saxon band samplers. The, the sale is starting June 1st, and I'm really excited about it. And I will talk more about that later in the haul section. Well, this is the haul. Well, anyway, I'll talk about it a little bit later. But I think that these two will go really, really well with some of the colors that I've chosen for my band samplers. And it came with, um, again, the Biscornia Swap sent a pretty card. And like even, even the wrapping paper, she sent this in. I saved the wrapping paper because isn't that pretty? I mean, even the wrapping paper is perfect. So thank you so much, Jen. I really appreciate it and just love everything in my packet of goodies. Also this week, um, I had made an order from Jennifer Upton's Etsy shop, The Clever Crafter, and that came in this week. I ordered a couple needle minders. Um, these are some of her guitar pick needle minders that she, um, she stamps and seals. This one I have had my eye on for ever since I knew that she had an Etsy shop and sold these. It's um, water lilies and it's just so pretty. And of course, it, you know, a needle miter can't travel alone, so I also got this beautiful green needle minder with um, this pretty bird on it. And a little fuzzy, sorry. And they're just both so beautiful. And the back is this um, gem that makes it really easy to, to grab and, you know, for if you need to move your needle minder. So, just very sweet, very lovely needle minders. Go check out her Etsy shop, Clever Crafter, if you haven't already, and that will also be linked below. Um, I went to the thrift store this week, and you probably, it, bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> the last time I went to the thrift store, um, I talked about it before, and it was not a happy ending. I had put some things in my cart, some beautiful cross-stitch things, and then I went to try on some shirts, and when I came back out, the cart was gone, and I never found those. Um, there was some needlepoint, and a Riolis kid, and some embroidery hoops, and they were just gone. Never found them again. So. This time, it was a happy ending. I was able to um, to find a, a few neat little things and kept them and bought them. <laughs> Took them home with me. I have this piece of mystery linen. I haven't um, counted it to see what the fabric count is yet, but it's just really pretty and I think that it will make a nice small sampler, maybe. I haven't decided what I'm stitching on it yet, but just a, a nice neutral, kind of old-fashioned looking linen piece. And that was like 50 cents. Awesome. And then there was this just little thing of a few colors of embroidery floss. And I think that these are um, safety eyes for dolls. I'm not sure. I do some crochet amigurumi at times, and so I think that I can use these as eyes for little characters, so that'll be fun. And then this cute little kit. <laughs> Children are a gift of the Lord. And it comes with, looks like 14 count Ada and all the colors. I might switch that to an 18 count because I like 18 count better than 14. Or I would just switch it to like a 28 count and stitch it over two. I don't know. Or I might stitch it on the, on the given fabric. I haven't decided yet. But it's cute. And it was a dollar. I love the thrift store. Okay, um, moving on to the Sunday free stuff. Free stuff Sunday that I, I mentioned before. So, 
somebody that um, donated stuff to this was a quilter and um, I guess was de-stashing or something and just gave a lot of beautiful fabric and and so I took a lot of beautiful fabric home with me. I didn't even I didn't even take all of it. There was more left that I um, that wasn't like my style, and I thought that some other somebody else would be able to enjoy it. But I got quite a lot. There is this big bag full of fabric cut out in different size squares, and it's all labeled neatly. And these colors are just beautiful. Like, look, she has it labeled. This bag is 10 inch squares, 5 inch squares. And I just wanted to get out some of this fabric. Look at the little cherub. Very sweet. So, lots of fabric in that. And the two and a half inch strips, beautiful greens. I love this whole bag. And these are half square triangles. Okay. Are those not the cutest deer? Look at that. Reminds me of my deer in the woods um, piece. Very cute. And two and a half inch squares. Just like a whole bag full of beautiful fabric. And that's not even all of it. There is this bag of fabric cut in varying sizes of quilty pieces. There is this bag in strips and squares. She even says how many of each she has. There are 59 five by five squares and 134 two and a half inch squares. And then she doesn't say anything about the strips, but that's okay, I can count them myself. It's very cute fabrics. Still not done. There's the fabric that didn't come in a bag. Paisley and more Paisley. Just so much gorgeous fabric. I'm still not done. These two packs of Asian style fabric. This one has koi, and this one has fans, and um, yeah, that's um, a lady wearing a kimono, and, and there's umbrellas, and cherry blossoms. So beautiful Asian fabrics. And I'm still not done. <laughs> Hello, birds from every state. Well, it might not be every state. Oh, it might be. Look at all these birds. I, I can't even. They are so cute. Project bag. <laughs> of course. Beehives, or bee, bee skeps. I don't know what they're called, but um, like bees. And it says humble bee and so special and there's hearts and bees and this very cute fabric. This will also make an adorable project bag. I'm still not done. I'm pretty sure that this fabric is an entire bolt just without the bolt. It is this gorgeous print, and I unfolded it, and it's enormous. There's yards of the stuff, and like one corner has a square like this big 
cut out of it. And the rest is, is just pure uncut fabric. Even the name of the fabric is gorgeous. This is Leaf Haven by Michelle Damore. And it is so beautiful. And there's so much of it. I mean, this is like a pound of fabric right here. And I also, this is a knit fabric that I thought would make really cute shirts or something for the boys, for my sons. At least one or two shirts. Just cute stripy fabric. Okay. That's all the fabric that I got from the Free Stuff Sunday. The other thing I got, besides some clothes <clears throat> for everybody, was this. I got to save the stitches. It came with some glass that um, was really, really filthy, nasty, yucky. I'll have to wash it off if I want to put it back on. It was, it was good glass, like it wasn't um, super shiny. It, it was like anti-glare or something. So it's a really nice glass. It's just really dirty. <laughs> but I thought this was so pretty. It's a, a Victorian house and um, I looked it up online and I was able to find what it is. This is a JCA kit, Love Notes Cross Stitching from the Heart, and the title of the pattern is Home. And it's available on like eBay or I think there's one on Amazon. It's available as a kit. It even comes with the mat. Um, the person who did this painted the mat. The mat is actually in the in the kit. It's like a um, kind of a dark cream, off white color. I, I like the the color that they chose. It's kind of dated, but it. Um, really sets off the, the darker colors of the of the stitched piece. So. so anyway, I was really excited to find this. Okay, so I had to take a break to eat some lunch, and I'm back now. Um, I forgot to mention, with all of those fabrics that I got from the um, from the Sunday free stuff thing. I am going to be making a quilt. I want to try quilt as you go, where you have the square of backing and then the square of batting on top of that, and then you just like quilt the um, the pieces of fabric right onto those squares, and, and you make a whole bunch of squares, and then. Um, attach them after all the quilting is done. So that should be a lot of fun. I don't have any definite plans as for how I'm going to put everything together. I just know that it's going to be really fun. So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to be doing with those fabrics. And there will probably be project bags in amongst the, the quilting, the the piece the um, you know the beehive one and the bird one that I showed are definitely going to be project bags, and then I will probably do you know we'll, we'll see about other project bags. <laughs> um, this week I also went to Joanne's. I know it's officially called Joanne Fabrics, but um, I can't just say oh I went to Joanne. It sounds funny to me. I have to put the apostrophe S at the end or it just doesn't sound right even though I know that it is right without it. So I'm just gonna keep saying Joann's. I went to Joann's and I got, um, I'm not gonna show it, but I got um, quilt batting and a, a quilter's square. It's like a 12 inch square template and I'm gonna use that to help with uh, making my quilt. And I also got a bunch of other stuff. I got zippers for making, making project bags. I find that I use the 
neutral zippers the most, and so I just I got a bunch of neutrally zippers um, just to have on hand because these are the colors that I naturally gravitate toward: the acru and natural and new gray and white. These ones are my favorite, so I got several neutrally zippers. I also got this little um, pout, um, baggie of buttons specifically for this flower and this cameo because they are flat on the back and I'm going to glue magnets on and turn them into needle minders, of course, because what else are you supposed to do with a flat back button? You make needle minders. So, zippers, quilt batting, needle minder buttons. Um, I also got more fabric because why not? <laughs> Except this fabric is for making dresses. This beautiful black fabric with um, white sketched flowers. This is going to be a maxi dress for Zaylee, my 12 year old. She wears black. That is like her color. Not in like a, a goth way, though there's nothing wrong with the goth style. I think it's awesome. But um, just that's a color that she feels very comfortable wearing and looks very pretty on her so she is all into wearing black and so I got this fabric to make her a dress. I also got some fabrics to make me a couple dresses because the the whole floral maxi dress thing is, is kind of I really like that trend and I'm going to jump in on it now that it's been quite a while since it first became a trend. <laughs> I have this fabric, which is just gorgeous. Let's see, totally my colors. I'm going to be beautiful in this dress. <laughs> so that will be a dress for me. And then I also got... This fabric, which will also be a dress for me, the the soft neutral, um, not quite pastels, but just very you know soft tones. That's the colors that I really like. So I got those fabrics to make dresses. I also bought some more embroidered embroidery floss. I got some DMC, um, the Saxon Band Sampler Sal that is starting on June 1st. Originally I planned on only using DMC 520. The light just changed. And it's this beautiful grayish green and I am still going to be using this in that, um, or for those band samplers, but I wanted more variety, so I got a bunch of other greens. I got some variegated greens that I'm going to be mixing in. So this, the 520 will be kind of the, the glue that holds all the colors together. And then there will also be these other greens mixed in. I already put them away, but the um, the two green dinky dyes, the silks that I got from Jennifer, um, I think that those will just go really, really well with with all of these, and just really make a, make beautiful, beautiful band samplers. So I got floss. I also got knitting stuff. I have been wanting to try my hand at making, excuse me, at making a shawl. So I got um, Lion Brand Shawl and a Cake. And it is purple and gray 
Again, the, the soft, muted colors that I like so much. The color is Mindful Mauve. So that will be a beautiful shawl. I haven't decided on a pattern yet, but um, I've got my eye on a few that I might try. I want something that's simple because I am still a beginner, but that looks maybe fancier than it actually is. <laughs> we'll see what I come up with to, to use this, but it'll be fun. And I got this book, Flowers and Leaves, 70 Stitch Patterns You Love to Knit. A, because it's green and I love greens. And because I think that this will be a neat resource for learning new stitch patterns and um, you know trying things that you know I, I could make a scarf out of some of these patterns or super fancy dishcloth you know just to to have practice pieces that I can that I can work on and get better at knitting. So I got this book of beautiful knit stitches. I believe that is everything that I have to show you. So I'll move on to plans, my plans for this week. I would like to continue working on my springtime sampler and Well Lily's Flourish. Um, the designs that I did, that, that I designed, those are kind of priority pieces for me because I want to have those pictures that I can put in the Etsy shop. Um, and I also want to work. Hi, buddy. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Saying hi to my little 18-month-old. What you doing? <laughs> making hi. faces. <laughs> so I also want to work on the bird sampler some more, just because that one is so pretty. And I would like to put a few stitches into the whips that I had before the whole stitch mania craziness. Um, like Roses on White Chair I haven't worked on at all this month, and gosh, what else did I have? Grand House. Um, I haven't worked on Grand House at all. I don't... Anyway, I want to go <laughs> just go through my projects and pick something that I haven't worked on in ages and work on it. So that's another thing that I want to do this week. I would like to start knitting my shawl. Hello, cat. And I would like to make, or at least start making, at least one dress. Um, I probably won't start working on the quilting yet. That's uh, kind of a bigger project, and I want to, I want to have some time to to sit on it and think about how I'm going to do it before I actually start working on that. But I'm going to spend some time this week designing. I've started the design for the wintertime sampler. So I have springtime, summertime, and autumn time, and those are all designed and available. And um, I have started on the wintertime. I've got the border done, and it's really pretty. And let's see, I've been playing with um, designing Quaker motifs. I'd, I'd like to do a Quaker sampler. Don't bite me, cat. There you go, that's better. I'd like to do some Quaker stuff because I think Quaker samplers are really pretty. So I have been playing around with Quaker motifs. Um, so yeah, that's my plans. Stitching, knitting, sewing designing. Maybe sometime in there I'll get around to doing a little bit of cleaning. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I'm not gonna clean. <laughs> anyway, this week's question. What is the best thing that you have ever found at a thrift store? I'm right, playing with my cat. <laughs> um, I have two best things. One is my piano. Um, growing up we always had a piano, probably not always had a piano because like when we were really really young, um, 
nobody in the family knew how to play. But um, my older sister started learning when she was like first or second grade. I know that I started piano lessons in first grade and we have had a piano in our home from that point on. And so um, I knew when we moved into our house that I really, really wanted a piano that that I could have to play on. and. Um, and so we were at the thrift store one day and there was, I think there were actually a couple pianos. We got the better one of the two that was there, I think. Unless, no, th there was another time that there were two there, but they were both bad. And then this time there was just the one. Anyway, we got a piano at the thrift store. It came with a box of vintage um, piano music like really old books and oh I love those and so we have a piano that I can play on and practice on and I gave a few lessons to my kids they've not really stuck with it I need to get back to teaching them how to how to make beautiful music we'll see so that's the the first best thing I ever got at the thrift store. And the second was a pair of jeans uh, because, so I, I bought these jeans because they fit nicely and everything. And then I got home and I put my hands in the pockets and one of the pockets had a $10 bill. So that was really exciting. <laughs> the pants paid for themselves the first time I wore them. Um, Cause yeah, they had cost less than $10. So that was really fun. Um, yeah, so what is the best thing that you ever found at a thrift store? It can be something that you you found and purchased, or just something that you, you came across and, and totally loved, even if you didn't end up buying it. Um, with that, I will end by... with my normal thing. Happy stitching. <laughs> Bye.